Hello my friends, I now invite you to enjoy this classic Dr. Groovy lesson. Alright folks, it's uh, time for some fun stuff. Uh, still in slide acoustic guitar standard tuning um, in the key of D now. And um, there's some really cool stuff. Uh, some of this we've done, some of it we haven't. Um, either way, uh, we're going to delve into some really groovy stuff. So another little uh, quick lick for you. Uh, let's get right on down here. And my preferred place, of course, for a uh, slide bar is always the middle finger. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll leave it at that. And wherever you want to cram it, you cram it right on in there. Um, I'm going to do this in the key of D. Okay, this is going to have the cool stuff in there. there. Okay, so um, we need all the trash and all that stuff in here of purposely leaving out a damper finger for some of these things. Again, the damper finger is the finger that you put behind the slide bar to shut up all this other junk going on um, that you normally would hear. But this time uh, we want it there just to be as trashy sounding as possible because we want it to sound as authentic as the old uh, Robert Johnson type uh, metal body resonator guitars. Not to be confused with the Dobro, they're the same thing. They have the big old resonator and the biscuit and the whole nine yard on there. Rubber biscuit! In case you're a fan of the Blues Brothers, you probably think I'm out of my mind. Then again, I'm out of my mind whether you're a fan of the Blues Brothers or not. So, um, Google it, you'll find it. Rubber biscuit, Blues Brothers. Beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll quit thinking about the movie. It just cracks me up. Um, I'm personally going to, I'll go back and forth between pick and not picking, but uh, we need to go to a D7. So we're going to go all the way up here on the G string and we're going to, yep, do our crossbar thing. Uh, 14th fret on your G string. I'll go ahead and put my damper down so you can hear the note first. So 14th fret on your G string gives you an A note. Now we're going to need the 13th fret on the B string for a C which will give us our D7 okay but I'm not using the damper finger now if I was it would be nice and pretty sounding like that because you can just lay your finger right behind it and you'll mute those two strings behind it but check this out That sounds like your good old Delta Blues right there. Not Delta Burke. Oh, I know some of you guys are way too young to know who she is or was. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to our D7. Again, 14 and 13 G, D. I'm sorry, G and B strings. Slide it up a half a step. Go back behind it. Go back and forth with your picking, I don't care. I'm just showing you the notes. You come up with the technique. We're doing chromatically, which means one fret at a time. So 14 and 13, 13 and 12, 12 and 11, and finally 11 and 10. And now you're finally into D major right there. So you're in D7. And uh, D major. And if you were to quiet it up. Okay. Okay. The next thing I'm going to have you do. Yeah, that was it for now. I'll show you that too. Hell, I'll go ahead and give it to you now your D stuff on your E string and your B string. Sliding up from 9 to 10 on your B. 
then hit your E. Then um, 10 to 11 on your G. Then 11 to 12 on your D. So you're just making an F shape out of it. Okay. So that just ends up being an F shape. Okay. Okay. By the same token, same type of thing, you have your D chord being at the 7th fret on your D string, G string, and B string. What I want you to do is go to the 5th fret of your high E string, then your 5th fret of your B string, slide it up to the 7th fret. Kind of like a chicken. Okay, so E string 5th, B string 5th, up to the 7th, and then hit your G string once you get there. Play with the pick, it's kind of cool. So you can use any combination of those three strings right there. Skip the G string altogether, it's cool. Finally, add the G string in for flavor. And then you can always go back to the fifth fret for some flavor again. Okay. So that's basically it. Any particular licks here? No, it's just the um, technique. Okay, again, D7. And no damper finger. Let it ring out like Johnson would have. And being that you are over top of a natural harmonic place, you're going to get lots of cool overtones if you do not use a damper finger right here at this seventh fret. So, again, if you're using your fingers, you can do two fingers at a time on your B and G string. Without using your damper, like I said, here at the seventh fret with the harmonic area, you got lots of cool notes ringing in front and in back of. Okay, so lots of sympathetic is what they're called tones ringing. Okay, I'm just letting the open D string ring. If you're doing an A, you could do the same thing. If I can get it in tune. Okay, so you can try to match it up in the tune. Okay, uh, the D string's really hard to do because you've got that. Um, slide resting right next to that D string. So it's really, really, really hard to get it in with an open D string. But you can get her done. Okay, so again. Those. Just stank in there. Okay, so just some basic techniques to working with um, guitars that are tuned in standard and using your slide bar. Okay, so again, uh, your damper finger is valid and it's also valid to leave it alone when you want that really twangy rezzo sound. Okay, 
So once again, Scott Grove here with a little bite-sized stuff, a little uh, quick lick for you, and all of them today on standard tuning and slide bar stuff on that big old acoustical fat bottom girl of a guitar here. I don't even remember what year this thing was, 1906 or something. Old ovation. Um, poor fate of these ovations. <laughs> uh, at some point, yes, the saddle or the uh, entire bridge on these things will come unglued and fly away. That was what they're biggest known for, um, just because they never used good glue on them. But going to wait for it to happen to this one and bolt it down like everybody does, like it should have been done in the first place. So, anyway, enjoy your new uh, quick licks of the day and. Um, Probably catch you tomorrow. <laughs> okay? Talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.